What's up everybody? If you're new here, I'm Vivian and today I want to ask you something. Do you know what this is and do you know what it's used for? Obviously the title is going to give it away. It's a white cane and I want to talk about that, what it's for and who uses it and do only blind people use it and how does this help different types of people? So the first thing is first, who uses it? People with vision that have vision of 2200 or above use the cane because they have to identify themselves that they are legally blind or blind but people don't really know that they just think that everyone who uses a cane is blind and I can assure you that is a lie. One time in school I was using the cane and I was walking and this guy, he acted so surprised because he was right next to me and I kind of moved a little to give him some space to the left. He's like, oh my God, how do you know she know that she didn't even, she can't, couldn't even see me. But people don't really know that people with canes can see other people and they do have vision. So when you open it, it's like it has five notches, you unfold it. I think mine has four but most or five most have more and when you unfold it it kind of looks like a golf club because they made the handle comfy so you could hold it then you have this tip and different people have different types of tips they some people have like a pencil tip or a metal tip but the roller tip is cool because you could just like roll it and this comes in handy because for me it comes in handy when there is stairs because freaking stairs I can never I could go up but going down is a mission it's harder to go down than go up so I pull that out and I use it to go down the steps and another thing is that sometimes people are like Oh, wouldn't you want to take the elevator instead of the stairs? No, I don't want to take the elevator. Do you know how long it takes me to wait for the elevator? About two minutes and I'd rather I would have been there up there already if I take the stairs. A couple of my friends have told me that once they're up the steps people get all Don't go down. Don't go down the steps. It's I'm coming, I'm gonna help you come down. It's like, uh, they're not gonna die. They have the cane to find the stairs. They're not gonna roll down the steps or they're not gonna fall down the stairs. That is something everyone is taught to use the cane for, to find steps or anything that is gonna bump it, you are gonna bump into or they're gonna bump into. So if you ever see someone with a cane going down the steps, just let them go down or up the steps, it's not a big deal. And if you are losing your vision or don't want to use your cane because you don't want people to stare at you or watch you or you don't want to embarrass yourself, you're going to embarrass yourself even more. Do you want to know that how many times that I almost tripped or yeah, mostly tripped on like little two little steps or something little steps. It's like if you got no balance, you're gonna fall. But I always had like the balance. I always, I never fell, but I always tripped. So it's better to have it out and you look more confident walking. If you're a person and you're embarrassed of using your cane, I recommend you use it, use it, use it, use it. If you don't want the black, white, and red cane, you can make it different colors, make the handle pink or green or blue, but it's gonna be a little heavier cane. Once you get older or once you just decide, you know what, I'm just gonna use it, I, it's beneficial more for me than anybody else. If someone truly is your friend and they care about you, they're not gonna see you any way different because it doesn't make you any, any different. Yes, there's more people that are going to stare at you, especially in towns that are more uh, rural 
or smaller people don't know they never seen blind people when they see them it's like i gotta stare i gotta see what's gonna happen well what is that stick and a lot of people in like small towns or in general especially around here they uh they see you or the kids see you and they are they ask what is it for instance me and my boyfriend were walking on the trail and this kid he goes by on a bike and he asks my boyfriend if he was fishing with you know the the cane but because he's a little kid he doesn't know what it's for or this one time we were near the light rail and there's other little boy asks his mom what is what is this stick for or what is that for and the mom says oh they need that to get around or they need the cane to get around but other people don't know what to say when a kid asks what it is and some people say i don't know or they just try to brush it off and it's like you're brushing it off and then eventually kids are not gonna know what it is and they're just gonna avoid it as you did and when everyone knows what a certain tool is they're more comfortable being around that certain person and you might see people have a cane and they may just like fold it up when they get somewhere they know so for example like around here apartments whatever I know where everything is so I probably fold it up and then if I ever need help with directions, I'll take it out just to let people know that I can't see or I need help getting around. Or if you're in a store and it's not as bright as it is when you're outside, I'll probably fold it up again and then I'll take it out. And then people are probably like, what the heck is she doing? She keeps unfolding and folding it and folding and folding it. So is this like... Is it real? Is she blind or not? Like I can't like I can't tell what's happening. She keeps folding and unfolding it. I'm pretty sure a lot of people do it. Just because like I don't always want to have something in my hand all the time and I'm just have use of this other hand. So like say I have a bunch of bags of groceries. I guess I could sometimes I would grab it and sometimes I stick it in like my hand but it's like obviously not comfortable then you hold your groceries with your left while the cane is on the wrist on your left hand and then you can just do that but that is like so uncomfortable I could barely get my hand out of there so sometimes it's just like or you could put it like this there's so many ways you could put it somewhere but it's just hard having too many things on your hand and especially if you're on the bus and then I put it beside me on the bus and then I grab all the bags and then I usually forget it like this one's new I forgot the other one on the bus and I'm just like hoping one day they invent like a magnetic one so I can so I don't forget it and like it kind of like magnetizes to my pocket or to myself so I won't forget this it hasn't this thing hasn't been a part of me and it's like I'm trying to get used to it but I think once I do I would probably not forget it and another thing don't when you're helping somebody walk with that has a cane don't grab this part don't grab it and pull the per like the person's holding this the handle part and you're holding the bottom part near the tip and pull them like that you think it's easier but it has like less control so you wouldn't want to do that i remember i used to do that with my friends grab this bottom part and pull them like that and i know that wasn't right but now i know i myself wouldn't want someone to do that and another thing you if you ever want to, under, to understand like people that use other mobility tools or have an idea of how they feel how they're going through you can always just get a blindfold and, or try and use the cane yourself to see that people that use canes are just people Nothing changes if you ever lose your vision. You're still, you're still 
have every ability that everyone has except you don't have that vision anymore that sight that everyone does your personality is still intact just because you did it you lost your vision doesn't mean you lost who you are so give it a try grab a blindfold put it on and try to walk if you don't have a cane obviously you could just get a stick or walk around see how it feels see how different you feel walking around like that and trying to see what kind of things you pick up with your ears with your other senses and i'm pretty sure it's kind of scary at first but you probably get used to it and this video is more mostly more to educate people people that are on youtube all the time people that are curious if they should use their cane or not or how people are going to perceive you and uh, for people in general that you don't know or you know someone a friend and how can you help them with a cane or people like if you're just curious what is the cane really used for and now you will probably have an idea of what it's used for and how to help other people and it's just a regular th tool it's that tool that you that people are always going to need to identify that they are legally blind or totally blind and the how it's mostly meant for people to know that because if we didn't have it cars wouldn't know that we cross the street and then what if it's the wrong time we'll probably cars wouldn't stop you could either get ran over or something and with the cane people are a little more cautious with the cane, if you ever see someone with a cane at a store, they can cut all the way in front of the line if they wanted to, if they didn't want to wait in line. That is part of what it's for. You can't tell them you cut it. You can, that they are allowed to cut through lines, whatever line it is, because if someone has low vision or doesn't have vision at all, Waiting in a line is kind of hard because some people may see the person in front of them or some people may not see the person in front of them. And it's better if you just walk up in front. But some people do like to wait in line and may tell you, um, may, can you tell me if when you're moving forward or when it's my turn to move forward or when it's my turn to go into the, near the cash register. That is something that you can let someone know if you see someone with a cane or or you the person that has the cane you can let other people know if you need help moving forward in a line if you want to wait in line or you could just go up in the front of the line and obviously if someone tells you something you know that that is your right to cut that's why you have your cane another cool thing you can use your cane for is if something's so high up there in the store and you can't reach it, you can use it as a a tool to grab the clothes if they're, it's, all, it's all the way up there. You could use the cane for that. And some people may not even know about the cane and even though you have it, they still don't understand what it's for. You, they still don't understand that it's a, a tool for people that are visually impaired or blind. And if you ask for help, they'll be like, um, like, they'll think about it. I think you have to be more direct and just say that you can't see because some people don't get it. Like I said, people don't understand this because it's not shared as widely as it should be. And more people should teach their kids, even though they don't have a disabled child or someone that has low vision, they should always teach their kids about different people in general people with disabilities with that need different tools like we need a cane or a guide dog you can't pet the dog and you can't obviously grab the cane stuff like that and uh, also teach kids about people with wheelchairs and and other tools people, so many people with different disabilities have different tools they need and I feel like if more kids knew of the different tools, they'd be more aware, they would know what they were. And I feel like the generation that's coming, once they know about all these tools, or maybe more 
things that are going to be available in the future, they can create something new and that will help everyone with disabilities. I feel like everyone should just be taught everything, everything about everyone, everyone or every culture, every person on this planet. So we, if we would have a better understanding of everybody in general. It's like me, like if I just made everything about, because I know I have some knowledge about low vision, blind people or all that stuff, but I just don't want to stick to that type of uh, topic. I want to learn more about different disabilities, how what everyone does, has how everyone has been successful with what they've been doing. I don't want to stick to just talking about this. I honestly love to learn about how everyone is coping with it, overcoming it. It's just something very inspirational and I like it. And then also with cultures, I love cultures and they have a lot to offer. I'm not just gonna focus on my culture and just stick with my culture just because my family is, has this culture. I love other cultures and I love everything they all have to offer and that's why I feel that this knowledge and this thing that we all have, should we should all just come together and finally like share it with one another instead of putting everyone else in their own little bubble. We're just gonna put all the disabled people here, all the people of color over here, and then we're gonna put all the other people with different sexual orientation over here. No, everyone, I feel like everyone has to come like together and there shouldn't be a specific category or other people labeling other people. So I know I went all over the place, but I had a good time filming this video and I'll see you next time.